Hello everybody and welcome to day 12 of our Warden Hill book advent. It's me again, I thought I'd better redeem myself. I'm not sure if any of you noticed, but I forgot to wear them. Winston's red scar. So all those year sixes that like the cohesion, here's the cohesion between the different chapters and the different teachers. Okay, I'm here with my fairy lights, feeling rather Christmassy, splash and splatter. Winston continued scampering down the road to Fortescue's as fast as he could. His breath billowed out in front of him in great plumes of warm fog. He imagined for a moment that he was one of the enormous trains that huffed and puffed in and out of the city from the busy stations dotted around the town. His feet pitter-pattered along the pavement and with his important letter tucked underneath his arm, Winston felt a bit giddy knowing that his mission would soon be completed. He noticed that some of the people he passed were carrying parcels wrapped in the jazziest paper, many of which were adorned with ribbons and crinkly bows. He wondered what could be inside the packages. What surprises lay inside for the recipients when they ripped off the paper in the morning? Winston, wag Winston waggled his ears with excitement. With any luck, he did his job right. The writer of the letter he was carrying would be waking up to similarly dressed parcels in the morning because he, Winston, had done a good job. Unfortunately, Winston's excitement didn't last long. As he passed along the pavement thinking about silk ribbons and sparkly paper, a bus full of excited Christmassy people whizzed towards him. As it drew nearer, the driver accidentally steered just that little bit too close to the edge of the road where slushy, half-melted, muddy snow was lying in a big, puddly mess. Just share with you those pictures. The wheels threw a great splash of the icy water up in the air, which then splattered across the pavement. Most of the people managed to hop out of the way in time, but not Winston. The slush landed all over him. It was freezing cold and not one bit of him escaped it. His coat, sorry, he was coated from nose to tail in filthy icy water. Winston shook himself and wiped his eyes with the back of his paw. Thankfully, because the letter he was carrying had been rolled up under his arm, it wasn't too splattered with muck. Winston unraveled it and gave it a good shake. This was his big. He heard another van whizzing along the street beside him. There was no way Winston was going to be splashed again, so he dived out of the way. But the envelope slipped out of his wet paws. It was lifted high into the air above him before being snatched by a chilly puff of wind. No! squeaked Winston. He leaped up to try to grab it, but it was too high. Horrified, all Winston could do was stand covered in dripping, muddy puddle water and watched as the wind blew the letter into the road. It fluttered about, buffeted against the sides of vehicles and whipped off windscreens by busy wipers before slapping to a halt against the traffic light pole in the middle of the street. He had to get it back and the only way to do that was to cross the busy road and try not to get himself squished in the process. Winston Gold. And that's to ends on that cliffhanger. You'll have to wait tomorrow to see what happens.